Episode 65, Overhaul. It's another recap episode. Ah! But it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not as bad as the last episode. There's mostly just a lot of setup for the season with some really cool stuff mixed in. The biggest being the introduction of the seasoned villain through the two villain groups meeting up. This part is sick. We got the different factions talking, some Yakuza shit going on. We got some Soprano shit going on. Bodies are getting melted. This feels like their way of introducing that they are willing to kill off characters. I think the worst we've seen up to this point is like uh, hero killer Stain offing some unknown jobbers and hospitalizing Ida's brother. Uh, Endeavor incarcerated some Nomus, but it doesn't really register because they're monsters. But then here's like, BAM! Magni just gets smelted. She gets her own little flashback to some of her character, and then she's gone. Deader than dead. Blood splattered all across the room. It was fucking awesome. It was a sign for excitement to come. And they do end up slowly delivering on this escalation of sorts later in the season. However, based on who they are choosing to kill now, and who they kill later, it makes it even harder to believe that they are ever going to touch the main cast. Please kill Mineta, please kill Mineta, please kill Mineta, please kill Mineta, please kill Mineta. The rest of this episode is spent setting up what the students are going to be doing, and what Deku is going to be doing, and the events that are going to lead Deku to his encounter with Overhaul, and what Deku's new goals are, and how Deku is feeling right now and how Deku's tummy was feeling yesterday after having spicy curry, and Deku this, and Deku that, and blah 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 blah. Everything just grinds to a halt when we get here, as the show has to take so much time getting Deku's perspective on the recent events. And it makes sense, he is the main character, this is his story, but we already know so much about him and we retread so much bullshit. We can only go to the swing set so many times before we are completely sick of it. Watching this and the previous episode back to back on a broadcast schedule really made it feel like the season hadn't even started yet. And that's just not a good feeling to have. 